according to Todd Chrisley's attorney, Jay Surgent, exclusively to RadarOnline.com. Todd Chrisley has been a victim of a very cruel, broken, and inhumane system at FPC Pensacola in Florida, where he was allegedly given the incorrect medication. The medical department is in shambles, he disclosed, alleging that prisoners were given medicine intended and belonging to another inmate by staff members. And it seems that Todd is not alone. In addition, Surgeon said that three weeks ago, the administration of this medicine rendered them unconscious and they were rushed to the hospital, implying that the medical department inadvertently gave insulin to another prisoner. These types of mix-ups and mistakes are inexcusable and just another indication of how terrible these conditions are and have become, he said. Todd is currently incarcerated at a minimal security facility serving a 12-year sentence, which was recently reduced to 10 following his and Julie Chrisley's conviction for charges related to bank and tax fraud. Todd claims to have seen other incidents while incarcerated besides the medication mix-up. Surgent claimed that Muslims who are detained are not allowed to attend religious services and that prisoners have been made to labor outside in dangerous weather conditions. This summer, when the heat index in Florida was well over 100 degrees, the Navy base where the prison is located had a black flag warning, which required no movement outside for military staff and personnel, according to RadarOnline.com. The U.S. Navy command at the military base decided that the temperatures were too high for outdoor activities and movement, therefore they took this action. Nevertheless, despite the hazardous and extremely dangerous circumstances, the prisoners who work on the base are compelled to perform manual labor, general landscaping, weeding, and mowing. Muslim inmates are routinely denied access and opportunity to participate in their faith-based worship services, according to Surgent. This is due to a startling reason. The leadership at FPC Pensacola has decided these inmates should be required to work during their scheduled worship times, Todd's attorney claims. Thus, in order to allow them to work for free at the camp and for the BOP, their freedom of speech and religion is being restricted. Additionally, he claimed that Todd's facility does not care to prepare prisoners for life outside prison. Very little rehabilitation is done by FPC Pensacola. Actually, in the last three years, not a single person has obtained a GED from that establishment. Not even one, stated Surgent. According to Todd's attorney, this should deeply concern everyone. In order to properly reintegrate into society, be able to support oneself and one's family, and avoid turning to crime once more, one must possess both education and work skills. Therefore, you would think that the camp would regularly see graduates and realize that earning the GED is a necessary accomplishment. But at FBC Pensacola, that is obviously not the case and is not a priority, he told RadarOnline.com. FBC Pensacola has been contacted by us for comment. Surgeon informed us that Todd is focused and determined for create real, lasting systemic change within the U.S. justice system and particularly within the American prison system. It's one of his very highest priorities outside of being reunited with his wife and his children, according to Todd's lawyer as well.